and the canopies were prone to malfunction every 80 to 90 jumps. Even while enjoying free fall, every skydiver had in the back of his mind that very soon a price had to be paid in pain. Every free fall ended abruptly in a tremendous jolt we called opening shock. And shortly thereafter, an even harder landing could be anticipated. No one really knew the aerodynamics of free fall, and we constantly experimented to push the boundaries. Also, something to keep in mind was the photographic limitations in those days. We are somewhat spoiled nowadays with small, lightweight video cameras with at least one hour of continuous recording time. Back then, there simply were no freefall cameras. Here's another good friend, Pat Moore. He thought smashing into the ground was loads of fun. <laughs> 